ஹலோ திஸ் இஸ் அனீனா அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் நைனா அனீனா ஹவ் சி டுடே ஐம் ஹியர் டுடே வித் தி கொஸ்டின் தட் சயின்ஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் யூஸ்வலி ஃபேஸ் தட் இஸ் ஹவு டு ரீட் அண்ட் டெடியூஸ் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் என்சிஆர்டி பயாலஜி டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் ஸோ டூ சி திஸ் வீடியோ டில் த என் பிகாஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஹவ் இன்க்ளூடட் ஆல் த பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த சாப்டர் செல் த யூனிட் ஆஃப் லைஃப் so this video is really going to help you to track up with your ncert so let's move directly into the chapter cell the unit of life chapter number 8 from your class 11th ncert so you know that when every sections of the topics in your text begins there is an introductory part about a few scientists and this is very important for the neat aspirants so the first point is about the scientist g n ramachandran who discovered the triple helical structure of collagen the next point is about linus pauling who published the alpha helix and beta sheet structure of proteins now we all know what a cell is that is it is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms the next point is about unicellular organisms these have independent existence what does this mean Th- that is because uh, in cases of unicellular organisms this does not undergo sexual reproduction but instead undergoes asexual re- mode of reproduction uh, wherein the parent body uh, is being continuously passed on to generation after generation uh, due to which these are said to be immortal uh, other than uh, multicellular organisms and thus they can sustain an independent life now let's see what the next point uh, the next point is, is about anton von leeuwen who who first described a living cell and the next one is about robert brown who discovered the nucleus of the cell then came the cell theory cell theory consists of two statements that is uh, when scientists of all over the world tried uh, to begin study about what each and every organism was made up of and from where these were made uh, these two uh, by resolving these two questions uh, and that gave the final uh, shape of the cell theory okay so schleden was a scientist okay uh, he was a german botanist and Uh, he observed that all plants were composed of different kinds of cells and these forms the tissues of plants okay uh, then uh, schwann at the same time who was a british zoologist studied a comparative study between plants and animals and found that all uh, cells were had a thin outer layer called the plasma membrane and he also found that plant cells had uh, a unique character that is a cell wall so schleden and schwann together gave the first statement of cell theory that is all living organisms are composed of cells and products of cells later rudolf virchow in 1855 gave a theory called omnicellular is cellule uh, in which he explained from where new cells were formed so the statement is, goes like this that is all cells arises from pre existing cells so let's see what a cell is so cells having membrane bound nucleuses are called eukaryotic and cells that lacks membrane bound nucleus is called prokaryotic what is cytoplasm it is just a, se- a semi fluid matrix okay then what is a prokaryotic cell a uh, prokaryotic cell usually lacks other membrane bound organs except ribosomes okay so ribosomes are present in both uh, uni uh, sorry prokaryotes and eukaryotes now ribosomes are present uh, let's see where are these ribosomes are present okay it, it is present in mitochondria cytoplasm chloroplast and rough endoplasmic reticulum in animal cell it has a non membrane bound cell organelle other than the ribosome that is called the centriole it helps in cell division let's see the size of mycoplasma it's only 0.3 micrometers in length while the size of a bacteria is 3 to 5 micrometers Let, uh, just see this 
picture where the, the, uh, the shape of red blood cells are round and biconcave. Why do they have such shape? It's because uh, the surface area increases for round uh, surfaces. Therefore, oxygen can be stored more in them. And see the shape of white blood cells. These are am amoeboid in nature. This is to engulf foreign particles. Okay. Uh, the next point is that uh, the largest isolated single cell is the egg of an ostrich. Then among uh, multicellular organisms, the human blood cell is 7 micrometers in diameter. Okay, the longest cell is the nerve cell and uh, there are many types of cells present.